I remember my first experience of visiting San Patriano and I was completely overawed and inspired by the activities there. What was your impression? Yeah, exactly the same. Just the energy there was really magical and the size of the community and the level of the craftsmanship there. Conscious Contemporary Tailoring, it's a really complex project and it's the vehicle to bring some very diverse communities together. You're very central to that, Bethany. Can you explain a little bit about your part within the process? Yeah, it was um, amazing being able to go into the prison and work with the women in the UK and brief them on the project. And then going to San Patriano in Italy and working with the women in the textiles department and developing fabrics. And then coming back to LCF and working with the first year menswear students and seeing their work evolve to the project brief and the response to social responsibility. So. It it must be quite difficult to um, enable these communities to communicate with each other. How has that been possible? Um, it's been really interesting. So first off, the um, women in prison here in the UK created these really beautiful um, jewellery pieces, which they then were sent, were sent to set the women in San Patriano as gifts with notes. And now San Patriano the women from textiles are now responding with letters to the women in the prison here in the UK. This is very much an important part of the way in which you work, Bethany. How do you think this project has influenced the students and the way in which they work? Um, it's been really interesting to see that they've been given a purpose to design um, and especially with the two winners I went out to San Patriano with, with the girls and they were able to see the connection to these people and these places and these makers which I think is integral to anyone's practice. Do you think this is the way the fashion industry should look in the future? Definitely, I think it's our responsibility to work with projects like these within fashion um, and I think you know teaching the students here in first year that is so important as they are the future of fashion. And obviously what you're saying then is that the human interaction is as important as the outcome. Definitely I think it, at, within this project I think the human interaction has been central and maybe the best outcome of the project.